my beautiful people what's up what's good it's been a minute it's been a hot dairy minutes it's been a while i didn't mean it to be a while it just it just happened i'm lying guys i've been busy i've been shooting um i just finished a project that i produced and directed did costuming on it did art design on it listen y'all this project took my blood you hear me it took my blood but i can't wait for people to watch it when it come out so make sure you subscribe so you know when it's coming out and what platform it's going to be on um if you're a new subscriber welcome thank you so much please like share um and if you are a returnee you know if you're an og if you're a pepe rempe this for you I've been born like Pepe Rimpe. Hey, Pepe Rimpe. Sugar, sugar. All my sugars. I've missed you guys, man. Listen, this setup, as usual, everything is always last minute. You guys already know that on this channel, vibes me. Just be taking me as I'm going. Buzz, 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 buzz. I'm trying to do better. I just came back from a wedding, wrapped yesterday. Had to go for this wedding. Could not even make it to a new. Anyways, long and short, I'm shy here. There's a lot of backlash because shout out to my highlights, but I'm not going to bring another light out. So guys, just manage me. But how are you guys doing? I literally just wanted to come on here to just say hi. Um, I don't want to talk about anything heavy, but, but I just want to talk about a few things. And this is not rehearsed. So as I talk, I'm, I hope so it makes sense. Meaning that as I'm saying it, I'm hoping it makes sense. Um, but listen, if anybody had told me in my late 30s, right, <laughs> that friendship will have a new meaning, wow. And I said, no, what are you talking about? Because friendship has just been interesting in the past few years. Um, and, and, and I've learned a few things, right? And so I just want to talk about some of the few things that I've learned in no particular order whatsoever. Um, I'm learning that friendship can have expectations however those expectations should be communicated this is what i would say in my entire lifetime i don't believe in necessarily having expectations of people not of things of myself i mean i have high expectations of myself right um i have high expectations of certain things that i do because these are the outcomes that i want from it um i Barely, barely have expectations from people, and I'm being very honest with you. It's just how I've just been raised and how I navigate life. My mom would always tell you that every bucket will sit on its own bottom. You know what I mean? So I know that I'm only responsible for me, my actions, how I let things, how I react to things, all that good stuff. Um, and so I don't have expectations from anybody, even my mother who brought me into this earth. You know what I mean? My expectations of her uh, send me to school, everything after that. Listen, if she can. I'm thankful if she can't such is life um but as i'm getting older i'm learning that with friendships i it's the same way i carry my life right i don't think i owe anybody anything however i try to do things for people um but i'm learning that with friendships there's a certain level of expectation that most of you have and for the longest of time it used to irk me because again i don't have expectations of people i'm not that way i'm not entitled and I know that entitlement and expectations are different, but the lines can be blurred. And that's why I'm saying, now I'm learning that you can have expectations. However, my issue with people who have expectations from certain friends or in friendships is when there is no communication of your expectation. I'll give you a clear case example. Me and Tunde are friends. Tunde expects that because we're friends, every birthday he wants me to post him on my page, not my Insta story. However, Tunde is very, very aware of the fact that regardless of even if you are Jesus, <laughs> if it's your birthday, I post you on my stories. But his expectation is that it's his birthday and he wants Bimbo to post him on her page. Not a problem. The problem is, however, if he has his expectations and he doesn't tell Bimbo, and then Bimbo continues to post him on the stories and then one day he acts crazy and moves mad, then there's a problem. Because then he blows up and he's like, this is, this is it, on your own birthday, I always post you on my page and then you're always giving me stories. And Bimba's like, yeah, okay, but I give everybody stories. Yeah, am I everybody? I, 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 I want you to 
did, did you tell me? You see, when you tell someone, then there's room for communication. You, you get what I mean? If Tunde had said, listen, at the beginning of whenever he started feeling the need to want to be posted on page, Pimba, I really like it if my friends post me on their page on there. Ah, Tunde, but I just like to post only like my work on my page. Um, yeah, but I, I just I just want to. Okay, you know what, yeah. For you, I don't mind making that exception. I'll just put it up for 24 hours. After that, my brother, I'm archiving your shit. And it's like, yeah, that's fine. It just makes him feel better. That's okay. I don't need to understand why. He's let me know that this is what he likes. It makes him happy. This is what he wants. If I sit down and within myself, it takes nothing from me. I can meet you halfway. I'll do it. But that expectation from today has been communicated to Bimba. Bimba is aware. And Bimba has communicated how she intends to go about fulfilling the said expectation. Or lack thereof. Either or we've had a conversation about it and i'm aware imagine when tunde is the only person that is aware of these expectations and then bimbo is not and then he starts to move mad bimbo is going to think what tunde is crazy so again i'm learning that in friendships there can be expectations however said expectations need to be communicated to the other party involved it is important i'm also learning and i think i've said this before in my last video some time ago that I spoke about friendships, um, not every friendship needs to enter a new season. Ah, I'm learning this one. Listen, that you and me have been kicking rocks for 20 years. It doesn't mean that in the next phase I'm about to enter into, we need to continue to kick rocks together. Mm -hmm. We can go from kicking rocks to just saying hi. And that's okay. There's no animosity. It just simply means a few things. Maybe in this season I'm about to transition into, there's no space for you in it. No space for you, meaning that we're at different points in our lives right now where we don't kick rocks the same anymore. For you, rock is rock. For me, rock is stone. You get what I mean? It's just different. And that's okay. I think sometimes people try to hold on to things because they feel like that's the expectation, right? You have to continue to be try every no there's sometimes when some things just need to be let go of and it's not fight it's not animosity it's just reached its end i'm also learning that certain endings need to be communicated before they're ended certain not all communicated is not closure please do understand me very well you and this person have gotten to a point where the friendship is not the same you wish the person well you're hoping the person wishes you well. However, you need to transition. And in order for you to transition, this person cannot go on with you in this journey. Now, there are some friendships that you just leave it like that. Both of you get it. You don't need to have a conversation about it. However, there are some that need a conversation. Sometimes those conversations can lead to a resolve, which can be positive, i.e. you now decide, okay, maybe you know what, they're still going to rebuild this friendship. That is great. Sometimes those communication or conversations is literally just to just close the door to make sure we're moving on. You are okay. I'm okay. Again, please remember I said not every person deserves this particular extension of grace because that's what it is. Sometimes you just got to be and that's it. It's not ghosting. It's just moving on without telling the person, because before you got to this point, where the person is aware, where you are both aware that things are not the same anymore. You know what I mean? Bemi Olatere Olagbegi, such a, such a wise, wise, wise lady, posted something the other day that was so apt, it hit me. You know when they say something, it's boom, boom. She posted, and I'm not trying to quote her because I can't remember it verbatim, but it was pretty much her saying and again i'm learning that some people will always be offended so please if you're one of these people that are about to be offended with what i'm about to say please it's my opinion you don't have to agree with it however if you're offended by it or triggered by it check yourself and wonder why okay let me move with friendships it's just the same thing with relationships right and i'm talking about both relationships between man and woman sexual relationship friendships it's, it's, it's sometimes certain rules apply certain rules spill over certain rules have the same weight this is one of them she pretty much tweeted saying that in her adult age she's learning in friendships and relationships that people who are raised in love and people who are raised in survival mode 
would never be able to understand each other. And it hit me. And let me tell you why it hit me. Now, saying people are raised in survival mode doesn't mean that they did not have love. That's not what I'm trying to say. However, my understanding of it is this. It's very different for, for different people. It's very, very different, right? If, and I'll use myself, clear case example. For me, when I hear raised in love and when I believe that I was raised in love, it is how we communicated with ourselves as a family. It's how my mother and my father communicated with us as kids. It's how they raised us. It's the core foundation of my very being, right? And part of it is in the characteristics that I portray. It's in the way I carry myself. It's in, the, in, it's in my dealings. It's my integrity. It's my character. Um, and so people who I have come across who were raised more in survival mode, they move very differently. I can move most times from a place of grace and love, regardless of whether I know you or not. Empathy, just kindness. Whereas these people are brutal. Everything is very strategic. Everything is very tactical. Everything is very methodological. It is not organic. They have to think about it. There's analysis involved in it. There's calculation. Because they are not, they, they are, they are not doing it out of just wanting to be good. Out of wanting to help. Not saying they're wicked. However, they just don't know how to just be humane. If there's no end result for them. If there's not something out of it for them. Then they're just not interested. And it's in my adult age that I'm learning those kind of people. And you know the beautiful part? Sometimes these people might have been with you from small from yay high, you just won't notice it until one day. You see, that's the beauty with life. It always takes one thing. And the thing cannot even be anything so monumental. However, it can be something so significant that it jolts you. And you're like, wait, hold up, hold up. This shit ain't right. Mm -mm. This man, this woman, this person, you moving to left. And then you sit down and then you start to analyze it. I.e., you start to play back certain things that have happened. Patterns that have constantly repeated itself but you've ignored. And you start to realize, rah, this is what this is. What this is. And when you have that aha moment, that light bulb, it's so hard to switch back. And so I want you, if you've never been that person, I need you to check it. You see, when my grandma used to say, and my mom, you know, when, when, when they used to say certain things to me and my siblings about just the kind of friends you have, the type of friends you have, at the core of it sometimes is important. I went to a boarding house where all of us were equal, i.e. nobody brought provisions, we were not allowed cooked food, none of that stuff. So everybody had plain even field, right? It was until when all of us were about to enter maybe university, we had finished secondary school and trying to figure out what we're doing next, that you start to find out, oh, this person lives in, I went to um, a military school. You find out that, oh, this person lives in the barracks, oh, this person lives in this, this person comes from this, this person comes from that. Prior to that, we did not, what do we know? Yes, one says, all of us, we're all wearing the same uniform, you cut your hair from just one to. And so you start to realize that fundamentally, you put are different by the time you get that old. Right? By the time you're about to enter uni, you realize there's some friends that you still have from secondary school. You start to let some go. You make, you get into uni, you make a set of new friends again. I think it's important that you understand that even with friendships, you can be unevenly yoked. And I'm, I'm just saying it now because I've been trying to, I've been dancing around it. And I'm like, listen, you guys are my people. I got to be honest with you. Um, and so when you realize it, I think it's important that you do something about it because it it, it, it it only starts to become more visible once you've had that aha moment, right? And I wouldn't necessarily say, I don't believe in cutting people off. I believe in loving people from afar and that's what I do. Most of the time, and I say this to my full chest, half of the time when people have a problem with me, they have a problem with me, not me with them. And that's simply because of how I move. And so I'm saying if you are one of those type of people and then you now notice that there are these kind of people that are around you and the yoke is not yoking. Just love them from afar. It's not fights. That's why I say most times people have a problem with me, I don't know because I will still see you and I'll greet you. I can definitely tell that the energy is shifted. However, I'm not that person. I don't, I don't, I only match energy that has lights. 
if me and you used to be cool before and then all of a sudden you're moving left i'll just leave you alone honestly ask people they'll tell you there are not a lot of people that have left alone <laughs> but me i'll just leave you alone i'll free you like i don't have energy to be talking too much english especially if maybe one or two i've ever tried to be like what's going on what's and then you give me an explanation that doesn't necessarily add up for me i'll just leave you alone it means next time i see you outside i'll say hi to you but once i clock i just distance and so i think it's important that you pay attention to friends that you pay attention to patterns i know that a lot of people are going through a lot right now but listen these are the times when friendships matter you know i'm that person where and my siblings will tell you this my sister this is always like oh my god be more please you have a lot of friends i'm like no no i don't have a lot of friends i have a lot of, lot of associates i'm that person where listen you need to understand the importance of it's not boxing people it's just putting labels to certain things and even friendships it's important and relationships that's the it's the world we live in you have to if you're one of those people that you think you don't think about it deeply if god forbid but death is inevitable any of your parents should pass think about the list of people that you would invite for that and now think about the list of people that you invite to your wedding now think about the list of people that you would invite to go clubbing Think about the list of people that you invite to your mother's 60th. If the list of people are not the same, then you're already doing exactly what I'm saying, which I think can be healthy. Just make sure that, you know, the same way that you are putting labels, understand that day-to-day -day can put in labels on you. So if you think, for example, me and you are meant to be like holding hand kumbaya friends, however, my wedding day, I choose that you are not going to be invited. Don't be offended. It just means that maybe it's time for you to relabel our friendship. And that's okay too. I think life is beautiful when you have friendships and relationships with all sorts of different people, associates, friends, day ones. It's a beautiful thing. However, just make sure you are aware of where you stand. Sometimes you will be, sometimes you wouldn't. But I think knowing how to roll with the punches makes the punches less hard. Yeah, anyways, that's what I wanted to say. I don't know if I made sense, but yeah. I just want to say hi to you guys. Come back with the video and just chit chat real quick. You know what I mean? And yeah, y'all stay blessed, man. I'm super excited. And yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, I, I, I did make an announcement on my YouTube channel. No, on my Instagram. Sorry. Screw, screw. Let's go back. I did make a little bit of an announcement on my Instagram page. If you haven't seen it, what are you doing? If you've seen it, please give me congratulations in the comment section. It's not easy. It's not easy. Ah country lots career wise but god has been good and i'm so grateful for this new journey that i'm about to begin i know that god is in control i don't do a lot of talking about the stuff that i do just simply because that's just me but i'm grateful for this new journey and i can't wait to take you guys along with me so come y'all it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be a lot of work but men mount oh men mount all right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Now I'm rambling. All right. Bye. Peace. <laughs>